break, drone that beat going crazy. Yo, what's good, YouTube? You're here with the Prez. So today I'm going to show you a full upper body routine that's going to be a shoulder focused strength workout. So you guys have seen how I tailor full body days or upper lower split days to be focused on one group but still being able to hit every muscle group in that upper body in one session how you can tailor your routine based on the day and what the goal is. So today I'm going to work a strength based shoulder session but I'm going to be hitting still chest and back also. It's going to be a full upper body workout but the focus is going to be shoulder strength today. So listen, I'm going to be doing a calisthenic workout but if you guys don't do calisthenics, if you're just doing this in the gym, listen, this could be a shoulder focused workout in the gym. All you're going to do instead of doing what I'm doing for calisthenics, you're just going to take a barbell and you're going to do standing military presses or you could do it with seated dumbbells. So listen, strength sets we're doing in that low rep range. We're working in that one to five rep range. So what I'm going to be doing is handstand push-ups on the parallel bars. Now again, if you guys don't do handstands or don't do calisthenics, just go to the gym, get dumbbells, do seated dumbbell shoulder press for heavy, for one to five reps, or do standing barbell military press. So again, if you're using dumbbells, sit down. So you can go heavier. If you're using a barbell, stand up, barbell, one to five reps. So let's go, set one. Alright, two reps, set one. So generally, what I noticed when I'm doing strength training, as the sets get go on, maybe set two and three will be my best sets. Set one will probably be the worst because my warm-up, and set five will probably be the worst because it's my last set be the most fatigued. But set two and three, usually my body's more activated, the nervous system warms up, and the reps get better and cleaner. So stay tuned for set two. All right, here we go, set two. Rest about three minutes after set one. And you can see the initial press up was pretty smooth. First rep, little tough. Second rep, definitely tough, but I still tried going for a third rep here. And you're gonna see, did it make it? Just came right back down, ended the set. All right, so funny thing is, as I was going through these sets, I'm wondering why are my press is feeling so weak and so shot right now? I didn't remember that earlier in the day when I was training a client, we were going through a shoulder workout and I demonstrated about four or five shoulder pressing exercises over and over. So my shoulders were definitely a little fatigued before getting into this workout. All right, here goes set four. I was really feeling fatigued at this point. So I just went for it, seeing what the best I could get. And as you're gonna see, I don't even get that first press up. I came down and called it a wrap on the shoulder press. All right, so I only got through four rounds of those shoulder handstand presses on the parallel bars. Look, I told you this is a strength-based session, so my goal was to complete five rounds of it in that one to five rep range. And as you guys saw, I didn't hit more than two reps at all any clip. So clearly that was a tough movement for me, and my max reps were two. So when I got to set four and I only banged out one rep, which I barely pushed out, I said I could either wait a couple more minutes and try set five or just call it a day and stay fresh for the rest of the routine. So I didn't want to fatigue OD, try one more set and burn out my nervous system or uh, risk getting injured. So I called it a wrap on the shoulder presses and that was it for the strength based shoulder session of the day. Now I'm going to go into a pull push routine super setting. Again, more endurance based for chest and back. I'm going to be going 10 pulls, 20 dips, three rounds back to back starting with 50 pounds dropping each set, so it's gonna be a three round drop set, going 10, 20, three times with drop sets. All right, here we go. First clip of pulls, I'm throwing on the 225, 50 pounds strapped on, I'm going for 10 reps. Got the 50 on, 225. So, the first portion of the workout, the shoulder presses, 
That was my main strength workout of the day. I was working in that low rep range. Now, the volume is going to get increasingly higher each set, and the weights are going to get lower. So, the intensity throughout the workout is going to stay high, but the weights throughout the rest of the workout will get lower and lower as the sets go on. So look guys, structuring a routine, a full upper body, if you're on an upper lower split, this is how you can tailor a routine to be focused on one type of training. Like I said, my focus of today was the handstand press ups. That was my strength movement of the day. So from there on, everything else was just accessory work. I wanted to get the weighted pose and the dips in, but again, it's higher volume, higher reps. So those are more hypertrophy and endurance based sets. So the strength portion of the workout was the shoulder presses. Right, I'm going to drop to 25 and do it again, 10, 20 with 25 this time. Alright, so that was one round done. 10 pulls, 20 dips using 50 pounds. And I'm going right back into this set, just going to drop a 25 pound plate and repeat the set again. 10 pulls, 20 dips, unbroken. So look guys, like I said, this was my strength based portion for handstand work. Next session on an upper body day, I would do more reps in handstands, probably do wall handstands, going for higher volume, and then when I get to my weighted pulls or weighted dips, one of them are going to be in a low rep range. I may do weighted pulls for holds, working on isometric holds with weighted pulls, so I'm not doing the reps, and then when it comes to dips, maybe I'll throw in weighted reps like a higher rep range, 6 to 10 reps. But again, guys, every workout should be structured based on the goals that you're trying to hit. 20 dips. So structuring these routines are really not that complicated. Just pick your target for the day, work on that, and the other muscle groups get less work. So, for instance, again, this is my strength day for shoulders, and you're going to see higher volume in the weighted pushes and the weighted pulling movements. Next session, like I said, when I go to handstands, there'll be higher volume in handstand push-ups. Most likely, I'll be doing them on a wall. My pulls will be low rep range most likely isometrics and I'll keep the weighted dips around that 6 to 12 range and then the next upper body session again it will probably be more more reps Does for handstand push-ups pull-ups will be weight. in that 6 to 12 rep range with weight and then the dips will go real low 1 to 5 reps or maybe even, even isometrics on the dips here we go we got my boy FDNY cat just learned muscle ups a few weeks ago trying to get them reps in Man, FD and Y right here. He'll get to any rooftop faster than the others. <laughs> 20 dips, and we're on to body weight. So, first was the 50 pounds, then 25 pounds. Now we're on body weight. All three rounds are back to back to back. Last 20 on the dip ball. rounds 10 20 10 20 10 20 50 pounds 25 pounds body weight all right so check it that's a wrap for my entire routine today three workouts three exercises total upper body training shoulder strength focus session so listen that three rounds that you just saw last took me maybe six minutes tops I don't even know but I know it was quick and total time that I did those four sets on the shoulders, maybe another 12 minutes with taking three minute breaks in between each round. So maybe this whole routine took me about 20 minutes tops. And it's a full upper body session, strength training, 
for your shoulders, effective strength training. Listen, to make it effective, you don't wanna do too much. When you're working on strength, you wanna really focus on the actual muscle that you're trying to get stronger. So you're not gonna see me doing a lot of fatiguing exercises beforehand, nor afterwards. I want the stimulation to totally be on that one pressing motion. That was my goal today, and like I said, if you're in the gym, standing barbell military presses, or seated dumbbell shoulder presses in that low rep range, one to five reps for four to five sets. And remember, you're taking longer breaks, three to five minutes to get those quality heavy reps out. Straight from there, I did that three round superset which blasted chest and back. It was 10 pulls, 20 pushes, started with 50 pounds, then right away, 10, 20 again with the 25 pound plate, then right away again, 10, 20 body weight. So this whole session, I had shoulder strength and endurance based session on the push and the pull. The pulls are working in that 10 rep range, still that hypertrophy range, and the dips always in that 20 plus rep range, so still getting that high volume. So you can see it's a mix of all three modalities in this one session, also making it very effective at burning calories besides just building strength. So listen, I said easy to tailor. If you're in the gym, do it with uh, military presses, and if you can't do pulls and, push, uh, pulls and dips yet, do it with a band and work to your level. Hit those low rep ranges, one to five, and if you're just starting out, then if, if you're just starting out learning pulls and dips, you're probably still working in that low rep range. So everything is strength-based for you guys now. So hit the same routine, and uh, like always, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, Born Naturals.